Are you garbage at BO4? Do you get your ass beat down when you mantle windows? Bruh. Do you wanna be a speed demon jumping through windows like a crackhead and a beast so that all the Maddox egos love your zoom? What's good my sexy beast? Jakubi K here back with another tutorial video. In today's video I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do movement properly on mantling objects and random shit. Most people they do this very very wrong. What they do is they will have a nice window here, a juicy window and they'll climb like this. This is completely wrong, this is shit by the way, just going to tell you that. The way you properly, you're properly, supposed to properly do this is first of all the reasonably better way is actually to just jump through the window like sort of like this which works okay, the only issue is you catch yourself on the bottom and you might also bounce yourself on the top, depending on the window shape that will happen. This window is actually quite wide, so it's not, an, not really an issue, but if you try to jump through like this, uh, like a smaller window, there are some windows that are like, it's really difficult to do this on, like for example this, it's very difficult to like jump through the window exactly, you're basically gonna be like walking through it sort of. Same with here, you're gonna be walking out. The way you're supposed to properly do this, if you look at my controller here for the hand cam, is you're supposed to jump, my jump is actually on the back here, and you're supposed to jump and crouch through these windows. What this will do is it will give you a much smoother transition that you can go through the windows in. in. What this will also do, uh, so this basically keeps your momentum going very well and also it makes you bounce out of the window. So if people actually know you're there, like you're not gonna go instantly like in their bullets. It's gonna go past their line of sight. Also, this allows you a lot more freedom with what you can do. So you can actually jump like this and you can, you can do a lot more movement as you land past this. Because let's say you climb, that's that's an L. Like, you, you basically have to go downward and then do some shit. If you do this, you're already ready to like do some slides, get some jumps ready, who knows, even slide out like this. So you have so much possibilities with doing this shit. You can even actually keep on bunny hopping. You can, you can keep bunny hopping like this. So you will always want to jump and crouch with your button. So the way you do this is you first of all press X and then second of all press your crouch button. I use tactical but if you wanted to do this very well with no back buttons you, I would recommend using bumper jumper tactical. And what bumper jumper tactical does is it makes this your uh, button to jump and then you just like do this. Uh, that's actually not my... Uh, not my I'm using the wrong bumper, bumper jumper tactical, but you know what I mean. You, uh, that's that's bumper just jumper, but um, bumper jumper. You want bump this one, and then this one you can do it without back buttons. You can do it like freely like this. This overall make it much safer to climb windows. This this works on any mode, by the way. Just saying, you don't have to do this on blackout. This is a thing on multiplayer as well. League play, whatever you would like to do this. So this will basically change the way you play Black Ops 4 forever as long as you implement this. This is very situational, but you will learn this over time. So obviously there's different types of windows in the game. So you can have like really narrow windows or quite wide or like glass windows like this. If you have glass windows, it's a bit more difficult to do this. You have to get a bit closer to the window for the uh, shit to break and like go through and you need like a very straight angle. So in some windows, you would have to differentiate your approach to how you're going to crouch jump through this shit. I would recommend doing this basically on any window though. There's basically never a position where just jumping normally like with just a jump is better than crouch jumping and definitely not doing this. This is a rest in peace. This will also work for like really small objects. So it's not really just with windows. So you'll see me do this for example on um, like these little barrier ledges here. So this this works on multiplayer as well. That's, that was unfortunate. Kind of climbed through instead of went on go away. So you can like crouch jump like this. Now this will make you go on because of the ceiling, but you can technically like crouch jump off of this shit. If you have a smaller ledge, that will also work. I think this one it would be better. Yeah. So you can you can like crouch jump past that. Also when you do this, it would actually make your hitbox slightly different. So when you jump normally like this, your hitbox is quite lengthy. When you crouch jump, your hitbox actually goes smaller, like it goes more condensed. It won't be the biggest difference, but it does make your body look really weird for people to hit. In addition to this, as you can see by my crosshairs, they actually get smaller as you do this. So hipfire will actually be better off when you crouch jump rather than just jump. There is a myth with this technique where if you crouch jump, people believe there's a glide jump type of mechanic. And the way you do glide jumps is you do a crouch jump and you press your crouch button again. So my crouch button is R3. So you do this. This is a complete myth. So people will say that this lets you jump further or 
faster or longer or so that's all bullshit by the way these guys are all bots i don't know what they're talking about so glide slides they don't actually give you anything it's just sort of an illusion there is no mechanic in the game which will allow you to jump further or do any of that sort of stuff this jump is exactly the same as a normal glide uh, jump it just this one is lower your head doesn't go up so much that it looks like you're going further another thing with your head actually staying level because your head stays level so if you take a look at where my head goes i mean it kind of goes there if i jump normally you'll probably go like there what this also does is it makes it easier to spot people as you're going into buildings so if you crouch jump into shit and some guy is like usually they're closer to the floor maybe they're, cr maybe they're crouching in a corner or something it's easier to see them because you're lower to the ground you keep your head like leveled as you are as normally sprinting also another aspect of this that's beneficial i guess to move through windows but it's different than if you do it jumping so if you jump normally you can actually do another technique which is just sliding past the window and you can actually chain this so a lot of people don't know about this this is something i've developed later on i don't really use this too much because there's not much reasons to but you can actually chain your slide and do a double slide out of this so you can chain slides like that if you have mobility it's actually even better and the way you do that is I'll show you in one second if I can just... There we go. You can do this but like any cover, like you don't really need to do this specifically on a window. The way you do this is you want to make sure you're sprinting and hold down your sprint continually. Don't pull back. Hold down your sprint. I have a back button jump, so you jump. You can crouch jump as well. And then you slide, let go of your slide and put another slide in. So you have two slides like that the timing on this is quite uh reasonably weird to take advantage of uh, it's actually difficult but mainly difficult with the timing because you're so close to the floor so you can do this like up top as well you can slide off of like literal buildings and do the store of shit but if you're doing it closer to the ground then it's actually harder but you can do that when you go outside of windows so that's a new technique i developed i don't really use this too much but it is something that is actually quite useful especially when you have like dexterity for multiplayer or if you have mobility, you can also, of course, shoot people as you do this. That's another thing with uh, crouch jumping through windows. If you crouch jump through windows, you can actually shoot people and you can aim in while doing this. So you can obviously uh, do something like this and start busting people down with your sword or your Maddox or whatever. When you climb like this, obviously, you're kind of stuck with a hip fire. You can't aim in. It's a rest in peace. If you jump, you still get the bonus of that. The only issue is you get stuck on this railing here. So it's a, you basically kind of don't really have as much movement that you can do with that sort of shit so to summarize basically the way you will normally climb windows is completely wrong so you would want to always crouch jump specifically you can sometimes jump through windows but the crouch jump is simply superior in every way the movement techniques which you can develop from this crouch jump are also quite really useful i mean you could hip fire out while doing this shit you can aim in and beam people are doing this you can also do the double slide or you can do a single slide as well if you would like but double slide is also quite dope the issue with double sliding, which I didn't mention before, is your, uh, you'll get slide fatigue. So you can't actually slide after you do your second slide, because your third slide will be quite shit. So the only thing you can chain after that is a jump. Just like that, or whatever. Different types of windows will require different sort of, mm, you know, looks at them. So for example, like if it's a, like a window like this, you'll want to have a much more straighter angle at pursuing them than if it's a, like a really wide window because you'll be able to like you'll bounce yourself off the sides to make sure you go quite straight here you can do a lot more different type of angles like you can even come in for you from like side type of shit and start going crowd jumping through there like that so i basically make this video because a lot of people ask me how i do my jumps off of ledges and shit like this this sort of shit works like on ledges like this as well obviously so it basically anything that's waist height you can implement these strategies on uh, for your movement. The benefits of this obviously is mainly momentum based so you can transfer all of your momentum as you play throughout the game and you don't cut it off by just climbing random shit. That will make your, your flow in the game quite a bit more garbage. Unfortunately, uh, the zone is kind of coming in. So I'll see you guys around. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, tell me in the comments. Sub, feel like a little bit of